What's up YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. This week's video is a little bit different than our regular date night. However, the question was asked to both experienced women and the younger generation, if you should give men advice on relationship, what would it be? This is what the experienced women had to say. If I should give, give men advice on relationship, um, I would say they need to be honest. Honesty is the best policy. When you are getting in a relationship, you have to ensure that it is not something, someone that you, your spirit likes or something that you, that you look on the person and said, I like this person, how the person looks. Because remember, relationship, it is two ways. So if you're not honest with yourself and with the person, you are going to have problems. Communication is also the key. You have to communicate with each other. Doesn't matter how bad, doesn't matter how big, doesn't matter how small, but you have to communicate. Trust is one of the things. You have to learn to trust each other. And in trusting each other, you develop a strong bond, strong relationship, and love has to be in it. It's not just, I like you and that's it. You have to love each other for the relationship to really grow and even if you have a quarrel it shouldn't be for a long period of time just an hour and you can reason it out and if you're wrong you can say you're sorry don't be like oh because I'm the man I can do anything or say anything no you have to reach to a level where you can say I am sorry for what I did or I am sorry for what I said and then you know with doing so both persons will grow into a beautiful relationship. Both individuals should have same if not similar values. That will help with the foundation of the relationship where they know that they have to respect each other, trust each other, love each other, offer consideration. You know values that you are taught as a young child. Have to care for each other no matter what. You must can see the person and know if something is wrong by just looking at their face to tell that something is off with them. And you can go over and say, what's the matter? You, you must be able to reason it out, talk over whatever the situation is. And then from there, you never can tell. Maybe something that you did while the person is behaving the way he's behaving but didn't want to say anything. So communication, as she said, is really the key. They need to listen more and pay attention to the small details. Once they pay attention to the small details, that way they'll know exactly what it is that their partner needs at specific times without having to ask them what is wrong. Mm. There should be a shared hobby, whether or not you like to go to the gym, whether or not there's a sport that you enjoy watching together like football or tennis, things like that. Things that encourage quality time. You have to be respectful as well too, you know, because you cannot be in a relationship and be disrespectful. Because if you want a relationship to last, you have to respect each other. So if you're going to be disrespectful, it is not going to last. You should also have a five-year plan. I think if you're going into a long-term relationship or you intend to have a long-term relationship, you need to ensure that you have plans. Plans that involve both persons or with the intention to say, for example, build a family. You know, whether it be travels, whether it, it be to educate yourself more, you know, get a degree, um, build a career, open a business together, things like those. I am not sure if, if, if men listen to their mothers when they're talking, but my mother always say, um, take care of your house before you take care of it. So it doesn't matter what is happening, ensure that your home is taken care of. It should be good. Men, are you taking notes? No, for the younger generation, this is what the women had to say. They should abandon the idea of trying to fix everything and just listen to anything they need to do. Women are always right. If you're not hiding anything, don't hide anything. So like passwords and phone and those things, I think that's full disclosure. So you're not supposed to hide. If you have my password, you're supposed to have yours too. 
no agenda rule. So if me can wash plates, you can, you can wash plates too. If yeah. me can wash clothes, but you can wash clothes too. Like go off the mindset of they don't know what so they want. Yeah, yeah, and they, they always say we don't know what we want. But if you ask, we we'll probably know. It's twenty twenty two now. Communication. Yeah, it's modern time. So they need to ask and communicate. They need to communicate. So they don't know what they want. Does it look shiny? That doesn't mean it's not broken. It is. Look close and you realize that if you have cracks in it, what you need to fix. So they need to be more observant. Be more observant. Right. Learn to cook. Ask iron. Ask for bed. Don't wash shoes. You know, like dirty socks and stuff in there. If you don't feel well, your cook will still be able to cook it and wash and clean. Probably not as good as I would do. Stick. Yeah. <laughs> if you like how we like give a 100% love, them to give them 100% love too. Like, yes. love all out. Yes. You're all. You can't say at least one once in my lifetime, you all in love. But then you just, because you're afraid of your friend the most, then you'll be like, half, 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 there you have it. Men, what do you have to say? Up next, just a little bit of how we spent our weekend. Now you've been talking 